This training video was developed by the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading in the UK and is part of a range of resources aimed at researchers. Updating a remote DDS in Moodle. Once you have uploaded your DDS and after a period of time, your local DDS will receive new deliveries of documents or data and the files in your local DDS will be different and more than those in your remote DDS. Here we want to discuss how to bring the new files into the remote DDS. When you created the remote DDS, you zipped up the local DDS, uploaded it to Moodle and unzipped it in the site. To update the remote DDS, we want to avoid having to upload the whole contents of the local DDS and would like to upload only the new or changed files. How do you do this? First of all, it is important to strictly follow the recommended way to name files. This consists of, the first part of the name should be a description of the file content. The second part of the name should be the date of saving the file in the order year, month, day, as shown in this example. The first part is a description of the content of the file. The second part is the date when it was saved so the 31st of December 2010 in this example. The procedure that we suggest for updating the remote DDS consists on keeping two copies of the folder structure of the local DDS in the local computer. The first one contains the local DDS. The second should be called DDS update and in general should be kept empty. When new files arrive, you put those files into DDS update so that they are there waiting for the update to be done. It must be stressed that the two folder structures, the local DDS and the DDS update, must be exactly the same. When you want to update the remote DDS, you need to do the following. Zip up the DDS update, upload it to Moodle, and zip the file. Because the DDS update contains only the new files, these files will be added to the remote DDS and it will now be up to date. Once you have done this, go back to your local computer and copy the DDS update into your local DDS. This will add the files from DDS update to those already existing in your local DDS. Now your local DDS is up to date. Finally, delete all files from the DDS update to have it ready to store new files. Please follow the naming convention strictly to avoid accidentally overwriting files due to them incorrectly having the same name. 